Uh, hi everyone, Chris Janock here for Insight Media. It's Display Week 2024. I'm in the TCL CSOT, the China Star booth, where they're showing off a number of uh, micro LED uh, devices. So let's start with the big display out here on the outside of their booth. Uh, this is a 163 inch uh, micro LED display. Uh, this was shown at CES earlier this year. I think it was also at IFA uh, last year. Um, it is very nice looking display. It, it does use micro LEDs, but these are on PCB backplane. So it's, that's really more of a traditional um, digital signage or video wall type of um, architecture. Uh, they just have, probably have a little bit smaller um, LEDs compared to what you would new, normally use um, in, a, in a video wall. So it looks nice. Uh, but not kind of, I would call this kind of a, an intermediate uh, kind of a product. Uh, moving inside, uh, they have a series of, uh, of automotive products. Uh, this is their uh, automotive AR HUD application. Uh, I, think, I believe this was also shown at CES. Um, and you can see it, this is, it, it's a standard LCD panel at this point. So there's nothing really spectacular about this. Uh, it's a 5.1 inch uh, LCD. Resolution is uh, 1440 by 480. Uh, field of view is 15.5 by 3.5. Uh, but what perhaps what's a little bit more interesting is that you do have a micro LED version of that panel, that 5.1 inch panel uh, in development. Uh, they say they'll use micro LEDs that are in the range of 30 to 50 microns and it will maintain uh, this same uh, field of view and resolution and size to, to fit into the, uh, the architecture here as well. Uh, it's it's going to be LTPS on, on glass. Uh, this is what they call a rear seat entertainment display. Uh, Tiyama had something very similar to this, uh, and the architecture is uh, shown here. It's actually very simple. The display, in this case, is mounted uh, below the headrest. There is a half mirror to reflect that off of a reflector. And so what you see is, is a virtual magnified image. Uh, and this, this apparent distance is now about six meters. It's actually a very comfortable display. It almost looks like what we call a, a collimated display in the, in the simulation world. Um, it's, I actually like this one quite a bit. Uh, moving along to their pillar-to-pillar -pillar display. Uh, now we're into LCDs. Uh, as you can see, this goes uh, A-pillar to A-pillar. Uh, I believe it's mini-LED backlight here uh, with some of the specifications uh, you can see here. Uh, LCD. Uh, coming back now to micro-LED. Uh, this is a B-pillar display. So something that would be the, the pillar between the, the front seat and the rear seat. Uh, just to mostly to give a little bit of information, um, a little bit of ambiance. Uh, it's a different concept. I haven't seen a, a B pillar display yet, so this is kind of kind of cool. And finally, this is what they call an automotive floating image. Uh, might be will be a little hard to capture uh, with the camera here, um, but this is a floating image. Um, my finger is kind of in the image at this point. Again, a little little hard to capture, but architecturally it's uh, it's quite simple. Um, so looking down the barrel here, um, if you look inside here, there's a sheet. Um, I guess it's a little hard to see. There's a sheet inside there uh, which has uh, a series of uh, micro lenses, uh, and those micro lenses are one-to-one -one correspondence with a 500 by 500 uh, micro LED panel that sits in, in back of it. Uh, it actually works pretty, actually works very well. I mean, it's a flat image, um, so it's not a, not a, a light field as the way everyone claims it is. It's a floating flat image, uh, but it's not bad. It's not bad, especially if you could add some, uh, some touch capability to this. It might be, uh, let's call this kind of a, a, a virtual avatar for in your car or some other application, a kiosk, for example. Pretty good. Uh, it's, uh, I think that's most of the story here at uh, CSOT. It's Chris Jinnock.